Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. Today is going to be a special class because I haven't planned for this class. Um, in all honesty, it's been quite a heavy week for me, so I'm feeling a little bit drained physically and mentally. And uh, I just want to do a class that will make me feel good. If you ask me whether I would like to move today, my answer would be no. But I know that when I start moving, it's like, it's going to make me feel better at the end of the class and my body will appreciate it. So today's class, I'm calling it Feel Good Mirrors Pilates class because I'm just going to do what I feel good for myself so that I have the energy to see this today. So I hope you can join me and uh, let's just have some fun. So we are going to start the class lying on our back. And we have my little friend here, Bulky, to help me with the class. So she's going to make sure that I do it in the correct form. So let's go ahead on her back. And, you know, it's going to be nice and easy class. Again, it's, I'm going to do what I feel like. I feel like I would like to do, and I know it's going to make me feel better at the end of the class. So I want you to just stretch your legs long. Have your legs sort of at the corner of the mat and have your arms over and the opposite corner of your mat. And I just took a moment here, take in breath. Expanding the rib cage. Exhale and allow your body to just melt to the floor. And inhale like a balloon, you expand all four corners. Exhale melting, surrendering the body down to the floor. Two more in breath. And exhale. Softening. Last one in breath. Exhale. And softening. All right, now from here, I want you to just circle your ankles and your wrist one direction and then reverse the direction keep it nice and easy and release here and i want you to stretch your right arm and the right leg away from each other give yourself a big yawn perhaps do a proper yawn and release back again and over to the other side left arm and left leg reaching out Another big yawn. And bring it out. And again, right arm, right leg. And release. Last one. Left arm, left leg. And release. Now, point your right foot. And then lift the right leg and bring it across towards the left. I want you to just reach the right leg away an opposite direction of your right arm and kind of like a cross starfish here. Inhale, reaching the foot away from the arm. Exhale, return yourself back to the floor, to the mat. And then the other leg, lift the left leg across towards the right and reaching the leg away from the left arm. Inhale, create more length, create more space. Exhale, coming back down. Again, one way each side, right leg over to the left side and across and away. Reaching the arm and the leg away from opposite direction. And an exhale, softening and surrender back to the mat. Last one, left leg over your right leg. Reaching the left arm and the left leg away from each other. And exhale, come back down to the floor and then i want you to just bring the leg back in so bend the knee half your feet as wide as your mat and open your arms out to a t position let's do some hip rolls here so let's go over towards me so we're going to drop the leg over to your right and turn your head over to the left and then come back to center drop your legs to the left and turn your head over to the right and then come back to center. Again, drop the leg to the right, head over to the left. 
then come back to center and left. Come back to center. Now drop it again to the right and stay. Bring the right foot on top of the left thigh and just give yourself a little gentle press of that left thigh to the floor. We stay here in breath. Exhale, softening down. One more in breath. And release the right foot down. Return yourself back to the center and over to the left. And then bring the left foot on top of the right thigh. And then gently press the right thigh to the floor. And turn your head into opposite direction. In breath. Exhale. One more in breath. Then come back. Sorry, let the foot down and come back. To center, bring your legs or your feet underneath your pelvis or parallel position and take your arms down by the side. Just make sure that pelvis is even here. Now here, let's do some breathing. I want you to, here, let's place your hands on the belly here. Let's do some diaphragmatic belly breathing. As you inhale, allow the belly expand or feel the belly expanding into your hands. Exhale, the belly deflating away from your hands. In breath. Exhale. Three more times. One last here. And let it go. And take your arms along by the side here. Again, make sure that your feet are parallel and the heels and your sit bones are aligned. Moving on to some pelvic rocks here. We in breath. As we exhale, allow the abdominal to deflate and that takes your pelvis to rock up. The bottom comes off, the lower back imprint, and release back to your start neutral position. Again, exhale, mobilizing your pelvis, mobilizing the lower back, and release. Again, exhale. In breath, I have my eyes closed here. You're welcome to do that as well. Exhale, I'm just trying to feel the sensation of that massage. A bit of massage happening in my lower back. It feels pretty good. And rocking the pelvis up and releasing down. And last one, rocking the pelvis up. And release it down. Let's take your arms overhead here. And then press the arm to the floor gently. And then continue with the rocking of the pelvis. We exhale. Feeling the lower back imprinting. And then inhale. Release the pelvis. Again, we exhale. In breath. Two more. In breath. Last one. And back down. So now here, take your arms back towards the leg side. Let's do some pelvic curl. We breathe out. Nice and easy. Articulate the spine up and feeling the vertebrae peeling off segment by segment all the way to that bridge position. Pressing the arms gently as you lift the pelvis higher. In breath. Exhale, we roll down. 
lengthening the neck away from your shoulder, your upper back, your middle back, your pelvis and your tailbone. Again, exhale, we roll up and we press the arms gently as you lift the pelvis a little higher in breath. Exhale, we roll down all the way back to the floor. Let's go two more here and exhale, roll it up, roll it up, press it up in breath. Exhale, roll it down, down, down. Last one here and we go exhale and up, up, up. Let's stay, float your arms up and place your arms overhead. And I want you to feel like someone is pulling your arms away from the shoulder here. Then as you breathe out, I want you to reach the spine down articulate the spine down that's better wording articulate the spine down not missing any segment imprinting to the floor and take yourself all the way back to your start position and then interlacing the hands place them underneath the back of the head here elbows are up moving to a chest lift here we breathe in to prepare exhale as we deflate the abdominal Lift the head and the chest up. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Perhaps can we come up a little higher? Arms back behind your head. And release back down. Exhale. Lifting in breath, arms forward. And back behind your head. And come on down. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Arms back and down. Two more. Lifting up, lifting up, reaching out and back and down. Last one, please. Exhale. Inhale, reach, reach and let's stay. Flex the right foot, slide the right leg away, reaching out and then bring it in. Flex the left foot, reach the left leg away, reaching out, keeping the pelvis nice and even here, and then bring it in, hands behind your head, and come on down. Exhale, we lift up again, reach the arms behind your thigh, bend the elbows and come up a little higher here for me. And then I want you to just reach the arms forward, hands next to each other, at the rotation, we rotate to me as you breathe out. Inhale, center. Rotate to the other side as you breathe out. Inhale, center. Keeping the rotation coming from the waistline. Exhale. Pelvis is nice and stable. Exhale. Two more each side. Last on each side. Back to center, grab behind the thighs again, bend the elbows, help yourself a little higher, higher. And then open your arms side to a T position and come on down. I need to cross the right leg on top of the left. And from here, let's do some spine twist to find over to me as we in breath. Exhale, center. Over to you as we in breath, nice and easy. Exhale, one more each side. Last one. And release, switch the leg. Cross the left one on top of the right and let's rotate to the left first as we in breath. Over to me. One more each side. Last one to the other way. Shh. 
and release the leg. Take your arms overhead for me, please. And I want you to just bring the heels slightly further away from your pelvis. Let's go to some modified roll-ups here. We inhale, we lift the arms, follow by the head lift, followed by the chest lift here. And then exhale, you may grab the back of your thigh, you can just keep the arms by the side, and then curl yourself up and over into that C curve. Just readjust the leg position. And if you need to, in breath, exhale, roll back, moving from the hip joint. Take your body down and take your arms overhead. Again, inhale, arms, head lift, chest lift. Exhale, keep that C curve and lift the spine up from your hip joint, pulling the belly away as you maintain the curvature, the C curve of the spine nice and long. Exhale, move back from the hip joint, middle back, and take the arms overhead. Let's go one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up and over, up and over, up and over. Stay in that C curve. Lift the arm, lift the back, open your arms up to your position and open your knees out to a diamond position here. Turn the palms up to the sky here for me, please. Lifting up that center, lifting up that spine, opening across the chest. I want you to reach the arm away from each other and slice the arms back. Again, three, four, let's do four more, three, two, one, and bring the legs together again and grab the shin above the ankle for our rolling like a ball. So find your balance here, feet are off the floor. Strong arm, hold the position, gaze, gaze is towards your legs. Let's go, inhale as we roll back, exhale, come up. Inhale, we roll back, exhale, come up. Again, roll, exhale, up and over. And inhale, it does feel really good for my spine. Whenever I do this rolling like a bow, it's like a little massage and forward. Can you try to keep the shape of the body constant as you roll back and forward? Two more, in breath. Exhale. Last one, in breath. Exhale. We balance, lower the toes down, open the knees, lift the chest up. Extend the back, extend the back, extend the back. Now keep that chest shining up, diagonally up towards the sky. Take your arms forward, reach out, reach out, reach out, and turn the palms facing each other. We inhale, we open the arms. Exhale, find that balance. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, two more. Last one. Stay, grab the back of your thighs, bring the legs up to a sort of like a diamond tabletop here. Keep the back nice and open here. Let's do some modified open leg rocker. So we round, we roll back, we come back, we hold that balance, we engage the back extensors. We come up into that V-shaped position. We round. We roll back and forward. We lift and lengthen. Again, three more round and forward. Lift and lengthen. Two more round and forward. Lift up. Last one round. Lift. Think tall, 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 hold the legs, take your hands off, find that balance like as if you're doing a teaser and just stay there in breath. Exhale, one more. 
and lower one foot down, second leg down, readjust the feet, readjust the pelvis, straighten the legs and half your legs wider than the pelvis, slightly, let's go into our spine stretch. Nice and tall with the spine, dorsiflex the feet, take an in breath. Exhale, we roll down and come forward. In breath, we hold. Exhale, we roll back up again to the start sitting upright position. Exhale, articulate down. Inhale, go a little bit further away. Exhale, roll it up and upright. One more, please. Let's do two more, actually. Let's go roll down. I feel like I need another two for this, for my body. And then roll back up and tall. Last one. We roll down. In breath. Exhale. We come up. We come up. We come up. Open your arms up to a T position here. Let's add some spine twists. We exhale. We rotate. Come back to center. We rotate. Let's bend the knees this way. Turn your legs into a diamond position and center. And exhale. In breath, center. One more each side. Nice and tall. Last one. Back to center. Turn the palms down. Side bend over to me. Up and over with the opposite hand. Bring yourself up, come back, arms to a T position. Side bend over to you and top arm over. And lift it up tall and upright. And over to me as we in breath. Exhale, take it lower. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Come back up, exhale, inhale over to you. And up and over. Lifting, reach, and come down. Let's add some rotation. So we are going to lateral flexion here, up and over, and then we're gonna reach the body forward, over to the other side, and lengthen up the back, and come up, and to you now as we in breath. Over, and around, across to the other side. Lengthen the back, and come up. Last set, side bend, over, reach across, ground the pelvis, and come up. Last one, over to you, side bend, and reach across, and up at nice and tall. Hands behind you, legs back to a parallel position here. That's going to modify back support here. So open chest, long spine, anchor the feet. Breathe in, breathe out. As we press up, up to like a table position here. Chest is open, neck is long, and we fall through the hip. Bring the pelvis down. Again, exhale, we press up. Opening across the front of the chest. We fold the hip. We come down. And three more. We exhale. We lift. We fold. And down. Two more. We lift. Fold. And down. Last one. We lift and fold and down. And let's turn your body face me. Go into your side line position. Half the arms in front of your shoulder. Tuck the legs in together. I want you to have your feet aligned with your pelvis here. And then just allow the head to rest on the floor. If this is an uncomfortable position for you, please go ahead and prop a cushion or two for your head here. Reaching the arms across. Take the arms up for chest opener and rotate the chest and the arms. Not rotate the arm, rotate your spine to the back. And then lifting up 
and bring it down. Again, we inhale, reach up, opening the opposite direction. Exhale, and two more. Inhale, reach up, opening. Exhale, last one. Inhale, reach up, opening, and exhale. Come back and bring the back, the top leg behind you. Straighten it. Bring the top arm in opposite direction. And I want you to just stretch the arm and the leg in opposite direction. You feel a stretch. For me, it's on my right side, front of my right hip. And inhaling, filling my obliques, my QL. And reaching the arm and the leg way in opposite direction. And then swing the leg forward, swing the arm back, and let's go in the opposite way. So in breath, reach across, leg and arm in opposite direction. Try to get the shoulder down towards the floor as much as you can. And come back to center and help yourself up over to the other side. Arm forward, stack the legs together, head down, feet aligned with the spine and make sure you elevate the waistline off the floor and we reach the arm across, bring it up and open, exhale, we cross, inhale, reach the arm across, up and open. Exhale, and two more, reach out, up, back, exhale, and last one, inhale, lift, up, and exhale, come back, and I want you to straighten the top leg, reach it behind you. And bring the opposite, the arm in opposite direction. I'm going to pull the arm and the leg away from each other. And just breathe as you inhale. Exhale. Retract. One more. In breath. And let's go in the opposite direction. Top leg come forward. Top arm in opposite direction. Try to get the shoulder to sink down to the floor. In breath. One more. And bring it in. Let's go to our front here. Little diamond press arm position here. So I have one palm on top of the other. Legs are reaching long. Head over your hands. Glide the shoulder blades down. And I want you to inhale and gently press the arms down as you lift the upper back up to an extension. And come down as you exhale. Again, in breath, lift. Keep the neck nice and long aligned with the rest of the spine. Exhale, you come down. And in breath, lifting. Exhale, coming down. And in breath, we lift again here. Now hold that extension. I want you to float the hands off or the arms off the floor to the forehead. Open the elbows. Bring the arms next to your thigh. Reach long. Reach higher. Open the arms to a T position, palms down, and then press it down by the, by the side of the thighs. Open the arms up to a T position, and then press down. Two more. Last one. 
and and come on back down. Bend the elbows, please. Press the belly into your spine and push the floor away. Send the pelvis to your heels for a quick rest position. And then come up into your quadruped position. Let's do some cat stretches here. So align the hands, align your wrist and the shoulder. Take an in-breath. Exhale, drawing your center, press the earth away as you take your spine into flexion. And back to your neutral curve and extend the upper back into extension. And again, into flexion, rounding, pressing away. And through neutral, into extension. Two more, exhale, rounding, and in breath, through neutral, take it back, upper back into extension, last one, flexion, and through neutral, extension. And back to your natural curve, tuck the toes under, lift the pelvis up to an upstretch position. Lengthen the sitting bone nice and tall and high away to the sky. Keep your head between the arms, pressing the armpit towards your feet. And then from here, I want you to release the heels down. Just make sure your feet are in parallel position and they are hip width distance apart, not, not too wide here. And just stay here for me, please. As we inhale, expanding the wrist, feeling the length of the spine. As we exhale, we draw in your center, we secure that foundation in breath. Exhale, one more in breath. And Next exhalation, step your right foot on the outside of the right hand. You can be outside, you can be outside of the mat too. And then take the right arm and rotate up to the sky. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, take the arm down, transfer the leg back behind you, back to the upstretch. And then the next one, next exhalation, bring the left foot outside of the left hand. It can be on the floor if you wish to. And rotate the trunk. And come back down, leg back, pelvis up. Last one, each side, right leg, right arm, outside of the right arm. And we rotate. And bring it down. Step back, up stretch, left leg, outside the left arm, rotate. Come back, transfer the leg back again. And lengthen the pelvis a little higher, lower the heels down again, get into a deeper stretch in the hip. And then from here, rounding the spine and walk your feet towards the hands. Just walking, 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 walking. And can we get a deeper fold at the hip joint, softening the elbows, and dropping the head down, making sure that the weight of the pelvis is right over your ankle. Grab the back of your ankle if you can, and then bend the elbow, bend the elbows as you fold yourself closer to the legs, we in breath, exhale, one more, let go of the hands, bend the knees and go ahead and roll the spine up, one vertebra at a time, all the way to a standing position, inhale as we grow tall, Opening across the front of the chest. Let's do one inhalation and one long inhale, exhalation with me. In breath. Exhale. Softening through your chest. Nice and strong. 
to your center. One more in breath. Exhale. And you are done. Thank you. Thank you for joining me in my Feel Good Miras class today. And I hope you enjoy that. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong, and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.